Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I thought it's been a long time since I've actually done anything like this. I've seen quite a few people do them and also I've had a few people ask me in the past what do I carry for my everyday carry? That is the question what um, most people go around when we talk about bushcraft and that sort of stuff. Generally I have two sorts of things which I carry. One for general everyday use for walking around towns and walking at home working at home and when I go into the woods, I have a separate little kit. But today, the video I'm going to talk about today is my everyday carry of walking around town or normal day life. And I'll do a second video um, in, a few in a few days' time with what I carry in the woods itself for normal day out. So let's turn the camera around now and I'll show you what I actually take along for an everyday carry. Find the hole! <laughs> Dippy Tuesday. Okay, here's an overview of what I actually carry. So, but I'm going to go into each of these details in turn. So I'm going to take them all the way now and just bring them back one by one. Okay, so the first thing we have is my is my phone. So it's a it's a Samsung 8 sort of smartphone. Nice and simple. It's got card holders and that sort of thing. I generally don't use it. I just put a few business cards in which I need to use. Um, nothing simple on, on, the, on the side of it. You can see this, I'm filming this on 6 minutes past 12 on the 25th of December. So happy Christmas everyone who's actually watching this. So uh, yes, I'm a Gryffindor. It's a shockproof military grade UAG case. So um, it's all the way around. It's actually quite good. It also allows you, that little section on here allows me to do wireless charging as well. Uh, this is quite a sturdy case actually. I've dropped this a few times. Uh, it's had no issues, but um, we've got the cooling system and, it, and, and allows it to do the wireless charge on the back of the phone. So that's my first thing I always, always have with me is my phone. It's my backup camera. Um, I use it for Instagrams. I use it for I use it for my Instagram posts. I use it for any Facebook sort of posts and, and some general sort of checking of stuff I want to have a look at. So that is my first item. Okay, so the second item of which I carry with me all the time on everyday use is my wallet. It's a normal bulk standard everyday wallet. Um, probably due to be upgraded soon, it's not very sore sort because of there's nothing really really special about the wallet. There's no hidden features inside it. It's just a general cheap sort of leather blogger. I've got a TK Maxx, I do believe. Um, it's got the cards inside there. It has all my store cards. There's a coin here for change. There's there for cash. Um, I do have a card blocker for contactless cards coming very very short, it's in the post so that should be in here but what I do have in here is a couple of items um, which I've always got with me so the first one is my Millennium Falcon oh, come on camera, zoom in it's my Millennium Falcon sort of car, it's got a bottle opener, it's got a flathead screwdriver it's got a few hexes, it's got a little wire strip sort of on there other than that there's not really much to it, it's also got a little ruler on the side there so I a little lift, yeah, so a little pry bar on the front on, on there itself. But I quite like it, especially for a little bottle opener and I like Star Wars. So it's a good little bit of kit. The second kit item I have in my wallet all the time is one of those sort of cheap fold up blades. I've used this a few times actually. It's completely fold up. Yes, um when it's actually out it's probably UK not legal because it locks I do believe. But you untwist it, you twist it, fold it there, lock it in place, fold that bit over, fold that bit over, and then I've got myself a little bit of a blade. It's only about a two inch blade, one and a half inch, something about one and a half inch blade, but it is actually fixed. But if you look at it, it's not very, very strong, so you couldn't really do anything with it. So in my defence, I'd say, what can I do with that? It's going to bend and break, and matters use it straight away. But it's a little folding knife, and then sort of that just fits just inside of the wallet and you can see how awkward it is actually is to get out you can't just get it out and whip it out and start attacking people sort of on there itself so we've got a little fold up knife so there, so there are the next things I keep inside my on me all the time so that's the second thing I carry for my everyday, everyday carry okay so this is the third thing I've always got on me I've always got my house keys, my car keys so you can't go anywhere without keys but keys are really really good things for keeping stuff with it as well so it's not just my car key 
I've also got a good length of power cord in the box sort of thing so there's two I think it's like 10 meter coils of cord inside here I've got about 20 meters of cord I can't remember I've done it so long ago on there itself we've got a token I've always never got pound coins on me so I've got a key token for for trolleys that's always really handy my Tesco club card my shed keys and things like that but what I do have on here as well, which I did a video a few a few days ago, I thought a couple of weeks ago on this kit, and I was actually quite impressed with it, so I, I do now carry it around every day. So we've got an everyday carry true utility knife. So this is a UK legal knife. So it has bottle opener file, flathead screwdriver. We have a little one and one and a bit inch blade knife which doesn't lock. Yeah, so therefore this is a non-locking blade. Yeah, so it's completely UK legal. And inside there as well, we have a pair of normal scissors that clips on little clip. That clips on my keychains. It's quite light as well. There's not much weight to it. That does have quite a lot of friction on it, so it doesn't really close. And I did put it through the paces a few weeks ago, and it did actually fare out quite well. We've also got a true utility Zippo. So I don't smoke anything, so I don't have to carry things. But it's a, but we know fire is always a must, and having a proper flame you know, on you all the times is actually really really handy. So this I fill it up sort of once every six months or so. I don't really use it because I don't smoke anything, but it's always on there. I fill it up. It's nice and simple. Just pull it out, and I just drop a, my lighter fluid onto the onto the cotton wool on there. Just put it back in. It's got a rubber seal, so it's waterproof. And it's, it's got interchangeable flint as well. So we've got those things on the kit, on the keys. That's um, that's my key setup. So I've always got on me a, a force, a force of combustion, cutting, cordage. Yeah. So we've got three different things sort of on there already. So looking at the um ten C's, I've probably got quite a few things on there. All right. The next thing we have on me all the time is a watch so the watch of choice which I would usually use um, but my battery is sort of died on here I got around to getting a new battery yet I haven't needed to use it for a while is my ProTech so it's a Casio ProTech sort of watch I was trying to get it zoomed in okay, is it going to focus okay so we've got the Casio ProTech watch so it does have a light on it um, it also has a compass, a barometer, an altimeter um, on there as well, and a thermometer. It's quite resistant and shockproof. It's got sensor on the side. It does have a little bit of damage, which I did a while ago, but it still still holds on. And it's actually a really, really good bit of kit and used properly. So all these watches, all these um, hiking watches, are really, really good bits of kit when you know how to use them. I'll do a video on mine, uh, what I like doing when I get a new battery put into it. But for now, all I'm feeling is a bulk standard little watch and this watch cost me 40p from Wish yeah free sign up um, pay for postage it's had a little battering but all it really does at the moment is time with the time nothing special but I do like the strap though um, the strap it comes with I actually do really like but it does come off the clips quite easily so hey get what you pay for really don't you so that is what I'm feeling at the moment so that is my watches Okay, the next thing I carry with me most of the time, or if not, it's always inside the car, so I can get it out, is my pen. This is not just any normal pen, this is a little bit of a gadgety sort of pen. It's um, one of the sort of man sort of things, it's got a it's Batman pen. On the very top, it's got a stylus, so I've got really, really grubby hands and sort of thing, I want to use my phone. I've got a little stylus marker. It's got a clip, pen clip, it's got a spirit level inside there so I can level things up when I need to. It's got a ruler, a three inch ruler or a ten centimeter or seven centimeter ruler. So I use it's a screw motion so I can twist it to get the screw out. And also in the back of it as well, if we unscrew this, I've got myself a micro Phillips and I pull it out and I pull it out. Here we go. I pull it out, I turn it around and I've got myself a micro flathead as well. So very, very handy. 
for fixing little things that sits inside of there. It's a nice little pen to be, be, to be used with. So that is my next bit of kit. Okay, so moving on to some other things, same things. I did used to have a small um, little um, LED light to clip on my keychains to find things, but uh, the batteries ran out of that, and I just never got around to changing it. So at the moment, I'm fielding um, just a normal torch. This is a Silver Point LED torch. It runs on three AAA batteries, um, which go inside a little nest. It doesn't have any other special gizmos. Doesn't. I don't think it does any pin to it. I've never actually really looked. Yeah, it's a push button to turn on. We see on there it's actually quite bright. I don't know any other specs really. No, it doesn't really. No, it doesn't do anything other than turn on or turn off. But um, it's actually quite a nice, quite a nice little light. We see on there it just refocuses itself. That serves me quite well. So we've got a silver point. It's quite durable. I've dropped it. I've bashed it around. Um, and I've had no real dramas with this. It's also got a little lanyard and a little clip if I want to clip it on for anything as well. So that's my torch which I'm carrying. So the next thing I carry is a little pocket micro tinder kit. Um, EDC tinder kit. These are the ones I make myself and sell on my eBay channel um, to help sort of fund me doing some of these channels. And all it is, it's a bit of people call it, people buy it as a novelty item, but I quite like it because it's a really, really small tinder kit which you can put inside a pocket and doesn't actually take any space up at all. Inside there, you can probably get about seven to ten fires when used correctly, uh, sort of on there, but it's guaranteed you get seven fires out of it. So, what do I have inside my tin? Um, to have a full gear review video, I put a ca um, card just up right there, and you'll see how to use it. But you can see, just open up a little bit, it's got every strike anywhere matches, it's got some fat wood shavings, it's got some birch bark. We've got some cotton wool balls, we've got some twine, we've got some char cloth, all sorts of stuff inside that. I uh, say, so check the check the little cum, the video out, which I'll put a little card on there. You'll see exactly what's inside this and how good it actually uses. So we've got my little tinderkin. Finally, um, depends what trousers I'm wearing, if I actually put a belt on, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, it depends what I'm doing. If I know I'm going out and I possibly need a more heavy duty knife for a job, I will carry this one along with me. So this is um, just a bait standard sort of smoke grenade pouch or something like that, molly pouch for the piercing kit. But we have here Jacami JM PJ1010 multi tool, which is UK legal. It's quite a heavy duty sort of piece of kit and some quite good weight to this. Um, we flick it open, let's just zoom out a little bit. So we flick it open, we've got a nice set of pliers which are um, quite resistant. Wire cutters and a little cramp, clamp on there. We've got a file which we can pull out. We've also got a flathead screwdriver. We've got a lanyard hook. I want to use a lanyard. We've got my blade. And finally, in this section, we got on the run lanyard look we've also got a can opener as well so we've got those on that side on the other side we've got a little saw we've got oh, we've also got inside there I can't even remember now all this stuff we've got a pair of scissors which are quite resistant sort of as well we've also got in there Little Phillips screwdriver. And that, what, I don't even know what that is. A little bit on there. And finishing off, we have inside there a little mini knife or file sort of blade on there. Little mini knife there and a can opener or bottle opener. So they're the things which are filled inside this little kit. So this comes out when I need to use mainly tools. Sort of, I don't generally use a knife on this. More the pliers, uh, but the knife is also really really handy as well. We can put them away, and I've got a video plan to using this a little bit more in the in the, in the in the future coming up as well. So we have little uses of a of a multi tool. 
Okay, so you can see this is the stuff I carry on me all the time. I generally wear jeans or um, cargo trousers or army army trousers, anything like that. It doesn't really weigh that much, really. Um, some of this stuff sits inside my my, my 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 belt if I need to, or or if I'm not carrying it on me, it sits inside the glove box inside the car, and I get it out when I need to use it. <coughs> More so, this knife and the torch sort of is in there, but generally I've been using this stuff, I've had this stuff on me for well over a year now, bar the little knife and the, and the thing there which I've now changed over, because I was always carrying this around but it got quite heavy, so when I found the Chili 2, the Chili 2 little knife on there, I'm actually quite, I'm quite impressed and I've sort of switched it up on there itself, but anyone's got any questions about the, um, my EDC kit or any comments, put them down below, I'd like to see what you carry. Let me know if anyone else carries anything or what you carry. Like, well, I really want to know, does anyone have their own little Tinder source or sort of thing inside? I've seen people have um, strips inside the wallet and that sort of thing, but I just made up these little tins and I thought it was quite a little nifty little thing. Plus, I've also got another way of doing things like boiling water. You, not really boiling water, but you can heat it up and have a little swig. Um, I can probably put Puri Tab in there, really. Um, and then, or condom, I mean, you can probably put quite a bit of stuff inside that if you really, really want to make a decent a micro survival tin. I might challenge myself to see what I can do. Might have waffled on. <coughs> oh, God. Very, very dry throat. So, I'm going to finish it off there. Just remember, it's better to be one with the wilderness than to fight the struggle. Until my next video, I'll see you then. Bye for now.